Hello, Carrie Ann here. And lately I've been buying lots of add on boards for my Raspberry Pi V. However, when they're shipped to you, they come like this. I was kind of hoping they'd come like this. I have to learn how to solder in order to do something with these ones. And that's a real problem if you can't solder. <laughs> In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to solder for the first time. Why is soldering so important to do? Well, soldering is a really useful skill to have. Um, for a long time, I was really scared of soldering and I really saw it as a barrier to be able to do things with electronics. Um, I always thought, oh well, I'll try and get solderless headers for different components or I'll ask someone else to do the soldering. I was just really scared that A, it would be really, really hard or B, I might hurt myself. As it turns out, it wasn't hard at all. And now I feel very confident to solder lots of different things. And if I order components from places like Adafruit, I'm not scared to solder on the headers. To get started with soldering, you're going to need the following equipment. First, you'll need a soldering iron and you can buy one of these from any good electrical or DIY store. You're also going to need some solder. Uh, most solder that you buy nowadays is lead free. And you're also going to need a stand to be able to put your soldering iron into to hold onto it whilst it's heating up and whilst it's hot. I'm pretty lucky. I work at Raspberry Pi and thanks to the engineers, we have a pretty sweet soldering station. You might want to put some cardboard down like we've done here just to protect any services underneath. Whilst I was in Maker Faire in San Francisco, I picked up this Learn to Solder kit. It's a little flashing LED badge and a great way to learn how to solder. It has a printed circuit board, a PCB, with holes in to put your components. And these holes are surrounded with a type of metal, usually copper, which you will solder to. To begin, I'm going to take the component that's lowest to the PCB and start there. In this case, it's the pin badge holder. I'm going to push it through the hole and then I'm going to turn it over and solder it. When you are comfortable, place the solder iron tip onto the PCB metal pad to heat it and onto the component leg. After a few seconds, push the solder into the iron tip to melt it. When there is a good blob of solder on the metal pad and around the component, pull the solder away first and then remove the iron tip. When the solder hardens, you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. This is a good solder connection. There is enough solder on there to allow the electricity to flow through the metal pads and onto the component. Now for a few safety tips. Soldering irons get hot. You'll notice in my previous video, I have quite the burn on my hand. Be careful. You will drop the iron if you touch it. Sometimes people push really hard with soldering iron. Um, it doesn't matter how hard you push, it's just not going to heat up any faster. You just need to rest it gently and be patient. Some PCBs include diagrams so that if you are soldering things like LEDs on, you know which way round to put them. And that's why these starter boards are great for beginners like me. Often you run out of hands to hold things. Um, sometimes it can be difficult to hold solder, soldering iron and a PCB. So it's often helpful to get a clamp or with things like LEDs with the legs, you can bend them um, to try and hold them in place whilst you solder. Once you have finished soldering all of your components, you will need to trim off any of the excess metal parts of your components, especially things like the LED legs. Be really careful when you're doing this. You need to hold on to the part that you're going to chop off, otherwise it will fling up into the air and possibly into your eyes or someone else's. Here is my completed circuit board. It's a little flashing LED with a battery and I'm just gonna put it on and of course, wear it proudly around the office. That's completely normal. When you get really confident, you might want to start soldering things like this. I'm not there yet, but hopefully I'll get there one day. If you get along to a maker fair, you might find an area that's been set up especially to teach you how to solder. And it's a really great and fun way to learn with other people. They sell these fantastic little boards to get you started. My name is Carrie Ann, you've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries, and remember, just a mouse click away.